Forensic toxicology involves the study of alcohol, drugs, and poisons in living systems. It's been said that it is the dose of a substance that differentiates a remedy from a poison, and that is very true. So medico-legal death investigation is sometimes referred to as post-mortem forensic toxicology. In this particular case, a forensic toxicologist might be asked to determine the presence of substances in biological specimens that are collected during autopsy. These might be blood, urine, or tissue such as liver, or brain, or vitreous fluid. Um, very often, the toxicologist will determine the presence of the substance and the quantity of the substance and may be asked to provide an interpretation as to the significance of the results to the forensic pathologist to determine whether or not the effects of the drugs, alcohol or poisons may have contributed to death. The toxicologist might be responsible for both the analytical testing to determine the presence and the quantity of the substance and also interpret the effects of those drugs on the individual. The last discipline is sometimes referred to as forensic drug testing. Very often that involves workplace type drug testing to determine whether or not the person has used or is using substances. Those biological specimens might include blood, urine, hair, or oral fluid. Other types of testing that might also be considered under forensic drug testing are also non-employment based for example, determining the presence of substances in maternal specimens, for example, amniotic fluid or breast milk that might be transferred to an infant, or possibly determining the presence of those substances in a newborn or a neonate. A forensic toxicologist use a, uses a wide variety of techniques and tools. Um, these would be uh, modern laboratory analysis techniques that would be used to identify those substances and determine the quantities of those substances that are present. There's no single pathway that leads to a career in forensic toxicology, but the training for most forensic toxicologists involves an undergraduate degree in one of the natural sciences, very commonly chemistry, biochemistry, or a related field. Um, Increasingly, it's becoming more common for forensic toxicologists to have advanced degrees or graduate degrees, commonly master's degrees or a doctoral degree. And in that case, an individual may pursue a PhD in chemistry, forensic sciences, or in the field of toxicology. There are many challenges in forensic toxicology. It is a very dynamic field because we're not just dealing with the same drugs in all of these different types of investigations. Every year there are new psychoactive substances that emerge. These are sometimes referred to as legal highs because they may not be banned or restricted. Um, also, uh, there are many new designer drugs that emerge every year. Some of the newer drugs that we've seen over the past decade or so include synthetic cathinones, uh, synthetic cannabinoids, novel synthetic opioids which have contributed to the opioid epidemic that we have been experiencing, designer benzodiazepines and other designer drugs. And these all make forensic toxicology a very challenging forensic field. Um, additional challenges include new ways in which individuals might administer substances. For example, the recent uh, use of vaping to administer certain substances. So because of that, the pharmacology and the pharmacological effects um, may be slightly different from traditional methods of administration. So forensic toxicologists have to be uh, very familiar with the field of pharmacology so that they can interpret how the different modes of administration might affect the individual and the potential toxic effects.